gonna get things rolling here in a second just finishing some quick setup stuff and uh, we'll get moving here right <clears throat> so here I am hi um, today I'm going to be playing, well, I forgot to grab it, didn't I? I'm going to be playing Super Mario 3 on the original NES. Um, I can't find my cartridge. I thought I had a box for it. Oh, well. Um, so, yeah, I have the original cartridge somewhere um, in a big pile of mess down there with my NES games. So, there's my cool one-of-a-kind Press Continue Podcast shirt. Can't beat that. I got a custom made. Um, thank you, Brittany, for that. Um, <clears throat> so, I put out a thing of uh, a little survey today of what I should play. And uh, Super Mario Bros. 3 won out. So, I'm going to play Super Mario Bros. 3. I've not played this game for about, uh, about 20 years. So... Had it sitting on the shelf, but just didn't grab it and play it. So uh, I'd usually go for Super Mario World instead. So this is going to be kind of fresh for me to play it again. Um, let's see how I do. I'm not going to use any warp whistles, even though I'm going to collect the warp whistles. But um, let's see how far I can get tonight. And need some sound, right? There we go. There is sound. Okay, good. So, what's funny is I actually remember a lot of this game and a lot of the secrets, especially in the first world, but um, I haven't played it in so long. Who knows what's going to happen? Games always very smart about teaching you how to play as you play. And heck, a lot of these first level um, secrets you learn because everybody freaked out because the movie The Wizard showed everybody Super Mario 3 for the first time. So uh, every kid had to go to the theater, of course, and see that movie. Even though you watch it now and it's just a terrible movie. But, you know, Fred Savage and uh, whoever that girl was is in it. Yeah, I got the right angle, so I always get stars. It's a certain angle that you can jump at that and uh, always get a star. So I'm going to shoot for that because when you get three stars, um, you get three extra lives? Five extra lives? Oh, something like that. My favorite moves of the game. I always use the, sl the butt slide when I can. Whee! Let's see how terrible this controller is. God, why can't I slide? How do I remember any of these secrets? Because it's been, like I said, like forever since I played this game. I guess it's one of those you just don't forget. When you play something a ton, I guess, you never forget all the little secrets. Which, of course, every kid played the heck out of Super Mario. Um, well, then what that star? I 
have fireballs somewhere around here. Got it again! Got two stars. Line up the pictures. I used to be really good at this too. You line it up a little bit to the right, I think it is. Uh, what did I do? Oh, I was going for the wrong section. If you hit it when it is in the middle, it will stop in the middle. Not like that. Uh, what is it? Three or four gets the easier time to the mushroom house. I think it's four. And I think I was wrong. Granted, this isn't too difficult yet, but it's still... Um, there's no bottom of the level, so that doesn't make it any easier. Wasn't there... Oh, there was, a, there was a secret to this. If you get enough coins on this level, it brings the... Uh, a ship? a ship or something, like a, a flying ship, but you have to get every single coin. I think that was the trick. Which is kind of impossible, especially with the coin blocks. Oh, does anybody remember how to do that? Because I do not. something so things will run a little smoother. There we go. You're in the Mushroom House. So yeah, you get a ship, and I forget what the- I, I don't remember what the ship does. I just know that it was a- it was a secret. stupid movie, we all knew where the, um, the, um, secret whistle was in this, because they showed you in the wizard! Gotta get it there, gotta get it there, don't go through the door on accident. And everybody knew about this whistle before we even got the game. Again, I'm not playing with warp whistles. Woo! That's fun. So we'll see how far I can get without a warp whistle. Ah. Darn it. Sterling, I hope you're enjoying this, because he was one of the ones that voted that I should totally play this game tonight. Um, so I hope that you tuned in, and that you're watching me play some Mario. Sterling, of course, is the guy that you can watch on Fridays. He'll be playing some Kirby game tomorrow. I forget exactly which one he's going to play. But, um, he is doing Kirby something. Oh, 
<coughs> oh, my allergies today. And I'm not normally allergic to things. It's really got my eyes bugging out. Ugh. I'm a sneezy nosy. That's better. And I'm dead. I wish I was using the original NES controller instead of this piece of garbage. Ugh. One of these days I have to get some better controllers. So am I the only one that whenever you play a Mario game you never let go of the run button? Because I can't even function if I'm not holding down the run button the entire time. Is that just me, or does anybody else do that too? Whoa! How did I get that to fall at the bottom? died once. Pick a box. I'm gonna pick your face. Ready? Punch you in the face! Push, push, push. Push, 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 push. <laughs> okay. Enough of that. kill those as fast as you can, because Hammer Bros, even since the first one, will wreck your day. So I'm just testing the chat again to make sure that it's still going. Before I go into the castle. I like this music. So all the guy, all the kings have been turned into animals. <laughs> you gotta turn them back into people. And I know that there's weird glitches that I've seen about it. We can do all kinds of crazy stuff, but um, of course I don't remember any of them. at chat. You gotta look, not look at chat all the time. So I do have the Super Nintendo remake of this as well. The Super Mario All-Stars. Um, but I always preferred playing it on, uh, you know, the original version for some reason. Even though, of course, when Super Mario All-Stars came out, everybody freaked out and bought it. Because you had to have it. Because everybody traded in their original Nintendo to get a Super Nintendo. <laughs> we all still wanted to play this game. Get it nice and high! Oh, I missed the jump! I always try to grab the wands, too, as high up as I can jump.
So I got the P, the P, uh, P wings. Good, because I need that. I remember I do need that for many of the final or world eight levels. Um, so it's a good thing I got that. Otherwise, I will never be able to finish this game. I think I've only beat this game ever once. Nope, already messed that up. Darn it. I kinda wanna die and do all that over because there's always a fun way I used to do this, is bounce off of every single one of these. Why do I remember these things? Tanuki tail. Is there anything hidden up here? Just the ending. Got it! Yeah, I love Mario Brothers too. Thanks for uh, tuning in tonight. There's the, uh, the end spade card. Don't exactly know what it does. I, you said you used to play this game all the time. I haven't played this game for like 20 years, so um, this is kind of like a new run, but it's crazy how much I am actually remembering from, uh, from playing this when I was a kid. I'll get it. Oh, this is the lineup again. Okay, let me see if I can do it. Nope, I already messed up. And did I get it? Do I get it? Nope, I did the exact same thing I did last time. What the heck? Another one of those levels where you have to get all the coins to um, to get the boat. I don't remember. I wish I could remember. And I wish I remember what the boat did. Is, is the boat just a bunch of extra coins on a boat? I don't remember what the level was. Does anybody remember what the deal is with the the, the boat that would come in if you got all the coins in a lot in the in the specific level? was the debut right there of the Thwomps, because I don't remember them being in any other game, as well as uh, Boo, one of my favorite characters. I actually have a Boo plushie that hangs off of my game bag, so uh, my wife actually got that for me, and he protects all my, all my gaming supplies. Run spot. Okay, ready? Okay. <clears throat> nope. 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 I barely remember how to deal with this. I thought there was something that falls out of the ceiling or something. Can I run across all the way underneath this? Yep. Can I do it again? 
Am I supposed to go further? I don't remember. I'm just gonna go through the door. Toad's house, pick up some goodies. So everybody, thanks for tuning in today. I appreciate all everybody watching. If you have any tips of uh, what I should do next on uh, Mario, I'm running this again without any warps, even though I do have one of the warp whistles right there. Um, saving it for when I just can't take it life anymore. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's hear uh, your Mario memories because everybody's got a memory of this game, I'm sure. Because everyone in their life has at least played it once. Um, I haven't played it for like 20 years. I know I've said that a couple times. So I'm just seeing how much of this I can remember. And apparently it's quite a bit because I'm doing pretty good. Mm, I think I remember something about this section right here. This is, this is crazy. Ready? Woo! This is something you'd usually do in like Mario Maker. I feel like I'm skipping so many secrets though in these levels. And I know that this block right here is a coin block, but I'm not going to risk getting hurt by a shell. Whenever they get in those back and forth things, it's always pretty much, pretty much death. So that's the trick to that. As long as you got the P run going on, I call it the P run. Um, you will almost always get a star. And again, when you get the three stars, which I did earlier, um, you get what did I get? Three extra lives? Five extra lives? I don't remember. Music box. Music box is kind of interesting. You can use it on the map here, and it puts those uh, those turtle guys to sleep. This level. Okay, see the sun up there? This is how I feel about summer. Because that sun is about to come alive and come after me, and I don't appreciate it. Ah, shoot. Did forget about the tornado. All right. Whoa! No way. Okay, get out of here. Tornado jump. Woo! I remember th it. I don't remember exactly how to do it, but I do kind of remember that you can use the turtle shells to kill the sun, which is something I wish I could do in real life. Uh, no. <laughs> Because I hate summer. I hate summer. Everything about it. There's bugs. There's yard work. There's more bugs. There's uh, poison ivy, which I'm severely allergic to. Um, which is why one of the reasons I don't do yard work anymore. Ah, farts. Um. I don't sweat, instead I pass out from heat stroke. So everything about summer just is not my friend. Oh, come on! Why am I being so stupid? I'm so intimidated by the sun. Look at how angry he is. What? 
Why am I being so dumb? Am I am I being too cautious? Is that what's happening? use a power up because I am sick of de well <laughs> hammer hammer's cool can I bypass all that what the heck just happened huh okay I don't really know where anything is was the flower here no, the flower was up there. So let's just pick another random. Hey, good. Flower's up here. Flower's down here. Got a star. Star was here. Yes. Another mushroom. Guess mushroom. Should I just hammer past it? past it. Why not? Okay, let's see if we can get it this time. Nope. Get it a little bit early this time. Oh, come on! I need to deal with any of those other levels that I just bypassed because do they have whistles in them? I don't remember. which way to go in all this because I don't remember a darn thing about where to go. Where does this take me? To Coin City? bottom is a P block, right? Got them all, or at least as many as I could. First time I ever tried that. Who ever thought raccoons were so freaking ruthless? You get smacked by a raccoon tail and you're dead. Oh! should have gone here yet. I don't think I can do anything about it either, can I? Ship number two. These ships to just stay as far to the front as you can. Get a few 
few extra random points by just standing around. And there goes that. It's one of the tricky parts about the, uh, the ships is because the ship goes up and down with all the bullet bills going everywhere. It will change the trajectory of the bullets. It's a hard word to say, trajectory. Trajectory? Tra what am I trying to say? I mean, you know what I'm saying, but it's just hard to say it. like a hidden block at the end, but I don't remember which one it is. And lost that. That was easy. Got here. Ah, I missed it again on the jump. Twice! Again, I always try to catch those as high as I can up there. Don't know why? It's just fun! Well, I was talking to somebody yesterday on another Twitch stream about why didn't they catch it at the top, and he's like, everybody as a kid tried to catch it at the, at, as high as they could, but when you speedrun it, you don't do it. Because then it takes you longer to fall, and you lose, like, half a second. So, people didn't normally do it on a, uh, on the speedruns. Stop on enemies using Goomba Shoe. I've enclosed a jewel that'll help protect you. This little cloud thing lets you skip an entire level on the map. So that will come in handy again on the final level. Here is a little secret on the first beginning that I remember. And definitely underwater levels. Fire is a must for me because I hate water levels so much. You guys have no idea. I wish no one had invented a water level ever because they are the freaking worst. as fast as I can. Uh, was there anything worthwhile down here? Well, how do I get to that? Should I even mess around? Cool. A little bit of bouncing around down here. I'm guessing there's a one-up or is that going to be a coin block? Back to 11 lives, that's good. Because I'm gonna need them um, in Waterworld. I feel like I'm on vacation with this music. Enough dancing. Let's get to it. Cheap cheeps? Not cheap cheeps. They're freaking. They, they are pretty cheap cheap to deal with. Hey! Looks like I got a, uh. Follower, but I can't see who it is. But thanks for uh, thanks for following my channel. I appreciate that. 
way I got my computer set up is kind of weird, to where I can't always see everybody's names. But, uh, I appreciate you tuning in and, uh, giving me a follow. Thank you. And you're about to watch me die, so you're here, you're here perfect timing. Oh, I survived! Can I get the star? Nope, I cannot get the star. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out how to how to. S hey, the froggy suit. Um, I'm still trying to figure out the uh, best way to set up my system so I can see followers and the chat and all that stuff at the same time, um, and and not die at Mario in the process. But <laughs> so um, I'm, I haven't been doing this very long, but I'm still trying to figure everything out and make things as good as I can for everyone. Um, but I appreciate you f giving me the follow. I'll probably shoot you a message uh, at the end of the stream thanking you for uh, following me. Miss Turtle Shell. God, these fish scare the heck out of me. Cheap Cheeps have always been- Ah, oh, no! 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 I'm gonna get eaten! Get out of here! No! Okay. <laughs> Whew! Whew! Oh, I did it again! No, he's gonna eat me! He's gonna eat me and I can't jump on his head! Get out of here! Don't spin. Okay, just let me get out of here. Okay. Did I totally forget that I had fireballs? Would that have killed the giant cheap cheap coming after me? Probably. Do 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 boom boom. I almost didn't see that uh, dry bones there blending in with the background. Am I the only person that, when I play video games, that I... What? Just... What What just happened? God, I keep forgetting I have fireballs. Am I the only one that, uh, will copy the sound effects as I play the game? What door is it? Well, it's not one or two. Let's try door number three, folks. One, two, three? Or is it none of these doors? No, what? Whoa, what is this level? Is it a giant maze? I don't like any of this. Okay, somebody's got to tell me how to get through this level, because, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm surrounded by ghosts. What's at the end here? Oh my gosh, how many doors can they throw in this? This is going to be something cheap, right? Uh-huh. Something cheap. Ha! I figured you out! Oh, those coins made some goofy noises. Okay. Well, that was cool. Little bonus room at the end. Um, little trash door right there.
Do they, are they lining up in reverse? Is that what's happening? Because if that is the case, then I can put some logic behind this. And I think it's this door I want to go in. Well, I will take a one-up for sure. So is it this door? No, it's definitely not that door because I already went through that door. Is it this one? Yes. Go, go back. There we go. So it's just the doors were reversed. Whoa, he flies? Cool. Good job. Yay me! Oh. Hey, Lama Boy. One, two, three, four, five. Thanks for following me. I, I appreciate it. Let's see, um... What I can remember in the game of memory. Probably not much because I have a terrible memory. But, uh, I will take dumb luck all day long. The other mushroom was here? Yes! Ten coins? Ten coins. Look at this mess. Um, one up for one up? Er. Well, Lama Boy, if you have any uh, tips of where the other whistle is, because I cannot remember where I used to get the second whistle from. Um, I think it was in the last world, but, um... Oh, I totally screwed that up. But, um... I don't remember. It's been... <laughs> it's been 20 years, so I don't remember how to get all these stupid whistles and all these little secrets. Or how to kill Hammer Brothers, apparently. Rock hammer, that's awesome. But I remember I used to get two warp whistles and I would warp, and then when I'm in the warp, I would warp again and go straight to level eight. But I don't remember exactly how I used to do it. Thinking I'm playing Super Mario World and I can just drop a uh, drop a power up. Nope. Uh, get off! Get off! Oh shoot! Hidden coin galore. I better move on a little bit though. What the? That was weird. Uh, the cloud guy is going to kill me because that is another one of those forever feared enemies of mine. Because they're so pa so random. I'm bad at this game. I just got on just got on 3DS yesterday. I'm a kid, so I don't know anything about it. Well. They just, they made this come out on 3DS? I didn't even know they re-released it. Is, was it like a digital download? Um... Because I don't think that they have it on a, on a, uh, actual hard... You know, hard copy... Cartridge release. Um... But hopefully I can show you some tips. And that sliding is so much flippin' fun. But I totally appreciate you coming and joining. But I hope I don't look like too big of a doofus um, forgetting how to get through a lot of these levels. <laughs> oh no! Get away! Run, 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 run,
digital download. Was it the actual NES version like this, or did they give you the uh, the 16-bit version that was for Super Nintendo, uh, where it was the, uh, what do I call it, Mario All-Stars? Which version did they, uh, did they give you as digital download? Because they did re-release this, I talked about it a little bit earlier, they re-released it on Super Nintendo as a collection where you got Mario 1, 2, and 3 all remastered in 16-bit when, um, so updated graphics, upgraded, updated sound, um, which I can show you that in a minute, actually. I'll grab it off my game shelf, which is right behind me. Hold on. Just dance a little sweet jams for a minute. Here it was, Super Mario All-Stars. Um, where they remastered Mario Brothers, brought it out on Super Nintendo. And they included Super Mario 2, the Japanese version, which had the, uh, the Lost Levels. Which they called in the U.S. the Lost Levels, which was originally the Japanese Super Mario Bros. 2, but they deemed it too hard for the United States audience to handle, which, they're right, the game is flippin' impossible. Um, so they made the U.S. version of Super Mario Bros. 2, which I played earlier, and it is literally one of my all-time favorite games ever, because it's so frickin' weird. And I like strange games. <clears throat> I think this is another one of those levels where you gotta collect all the coins to get the uh, airship to show up, which the airship, again, I believe was full of a gajillion coins. This is one of those weird hidden challenges that I think I've done once, or possibly twice on accident. Hey! Oh, shoot! Oh my gosh! That was ridiculous! the hammer? Where's the hammer? I had a hammer, didn't I? Yeah, here it is. I'm gonna use the hammer and take the boat. Because I don't remember where the boat takes you. It takes you to a little island full of bonuses? Neat! This stupid thing again. I'm just gonna do this, ready? Tap, tap, tap as fast as I can and see what kind of garbage I can come up with. How about one of each thing that gets you nothing? It's kinda cool, I don't think I've ever been to this little island. But apparently I'm getting a ton of tanuki suits. Let's try to line it up again. It's star of peace number one. S nope. I cannot get that stupid star. Why am I having such a hard time with that? It's such an easy game. It's like the mini games that are so stupid and easy, I can't do. I'm gonna power up though for this level because. That stupid spinny thing at the end? I cannot believe that mess. Since I have Tanuki Tail, I may be able 
to get all the coins. I'm sure as heck gonna try this time. Uh, I've already messed up. So there went that idea. Why, why can't I jump and get that? Oh, shoot! Ugh. That is a challenge. Okay, forget all the coins, just get through the stupid level, right? So how far have you gotten in this, uh, in this game? How much have you played it? Ah, well that's smart. Yeah, that's why I need to kick that guy there. That makes sense. So this is one of those if I kept going back and playing it a hundred times, I could probably figure out the best ways to get all the coins. Um, but I want to live and get to the next level. So, yeah, free man. And I'm never going to get it. I'm so bad at this game. I'm a pro, I don't know if I'd go that far. But, uh... <laughs> you gotta remember, I've been playing Mario games my entire life, so... Um... Thank you, though, I appreciate the compliment. Whoa! What the heck?! What is that guy?! <laughs> That's hardcore! I've never seen this little guy. He's like a little Pokemon or something. What the heck is that? Either way, he's gonna wreck my day. I'm surprised I haven't gotten spiked by his, uh... Giant spitballs. That's crazy. Awesome. <laughs> I like those guys. Um, I'm gonna go do something different. Go back. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna go back through the entire level. can cheat and float through an entire level, you better believe I'm gonna do it. I don't remember this level at all. I don't think I've ever even played it. Mario Kart 7? Heck yeah! That came with my uh, 2DS which is somewhere on the shelf here. I got one of the original 2DS's, the uh, clear blue 2DS. Actually, mine didn't come, no, this one came with no games, which sucked. Um, but my son, for his fifth birthday, he got a DS, and um, his came with Mario Kart, so we play it through the, uh, the airplay thing. Um, we played a ton of Mario Kart Wii. That game was freaking great. Like, even, uh, even my wife, she doesn't like very many video games, but she will play Mario Kart all day because, um, she can win. And that's her favorite game. Her favorite game she likes to play is called I Win. Um, if she's not playing I Win, she's not happy. So... <laughs> So we play that. 
Yeah, 2DS is awesome. I didn't want the three. What the heck is this? What is this? Um, 2DS, I, I actually didn't want the foldable screen. That's why I went for 2DS versus a 3DS. Um, and the 3D option gave me a headache. So, um, I'm like, why pay extra for that? When I know it's a feature I'm never going to use. It's kind of gimmicky, kind of cool. And it would have came in handy having that when I played uh, that Zelda game on 2DS. Because the 3D on that helps you out a lot. Um, but otherwise, I mean, I'd never turn it on because the 3D just gave me eye strain and gave me a headache. But I do like the um, the new 2DS XL, where it's the size of like a iPhone 8, and it's still got that double screen that kind of flips up. That is a cool system, and um, maybe someday I'll upgrade to that. But I really don't want to get rid of my clear one because it's it's kind of a oh no oh no oh yes. Hey, I'm gonna finish it. Good, I wanted to see what happened when I got all this. It just starts over, apparently. Um... Yeah. Well, tr you know, and trading in the 2DS gets you, like, hardly any money towards anything. So, I think I think they, like, GameStop gives you, like, 30 bucks for it. 20 or 30 dollars for it. It's, it's not even worth the trouble of walking in the store and trying to trade it into them. So... Whatever. I'd, I'd keep it, because apparently the clear one I have is considered like one of the more collectible ones. And as you've seen from my game collection behind us, I like to collect things. Oh! Oh! And my game collection behind me, I know you can't really see much of it right now, um, because of the camera angle that I have, but I have over 260 video games. And I'm pretty proud of that. I got, uh, all my board games are on this side, where I have probably about 20, 30 different board games. Um, I've always been a gaming nerd, so, I mean, what do you expect? I have like 70 original NES cartridges. Um, the most fun I have though? Oh no, I'm gonna flip and die, aren't I? Get the P button! Arg! He ate me! <laughs> I hate that fish! I really hate that fish! Uh, I really, really hate that fish. Oh! Get up there. I'm already getting stupid. You can't jump on that fish either. Uh, give me the white block? Why won't you grab the white block? Scares, scares me so much. Because he can just just eat you at one gulp. It's, it's just so terrible. And there's, like, no way to kill him on this level. I mean, I guess I could be smart and try to grab a, a turtle shell and throw it at him. Idiot. Are you kidding me? Mm. Same the same exact spot.
Oh, I killed him. Awesome. But you know what? By the time the water goes back down, he's gonna be back. Yep, see? Oh no. God. <laughs> that stupid fish. Okay, dumb joke of the day. What do you call a fish with no eyes? I give that a second to catch up. What do you call a fish with no eyes? Stupid fish. So what do you call a fish with no eyes? A fish. Yeah. There's your dad joke of the day. Um, you know I never tried any of the Animal Crossing games. Um... God, can I get past this stupid... This stupid, stupid fish. Um, no, I never played any Animal Crossing games, um, I should've got to use a Fire Flower. Uh, they just seemed like too much of a, too much of a micromanaging time sink type game. Oh my god. It's getting worse! I'm getting less, instead of getting further in the levels, I'm going backwards in the levels. Uh, it just reminds me of those games like on your cell phone where every day you have to log in and do something. And I don't enjoy games that do that that much. But I do like the concept of it. I just don't see myself ever, ever playing a game like that, you know? So forget going through the bottom. Really? I was that close to the end every single time? Um, is New Leaf on uh, 3DS? Or is that on... Uh, what? Wii U, Switch? Whatever their current home console is. I have a Wii U. I didn't do Switch because I feel like that's just a waste of time. Um, and the system's already basically showing how crappy it is because no one else is making games for it except Nintendo, which is what always happens with Nintendo systems and everyone's complaining about it. Hey, my favorite characters, the Bombs. Here's a secret. White block, if you hold down on it long enough, you fall behind the background. And that will get you to... Secrets. Oh! Son of burp, 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 burp. Oh my gosh. Okay. I need to leave this area, don't I? New Leafs on 3DS. Does your... Well, you, you have a 2DS, so you don't have the little uh, amiibo reader. Which, I know that they made a lot of... Um, didn't they make a lot of amiibos for that game? And I've never seen in a store the separate amiibo... Um, the separate amiibo reader thing for it. Get off! There we go. Okay, forget that secret wall. Unless I can get a tail right there. Oh, 
Finessing, f f fancy with what I'm doing, and I end up getting hurt. So it goes from that to a water level, which we already established how much I hate water levels, right? I feel like there's got to be a power up or something if I go the opposite direction. Oh uh, no, no, it's just more, more fish. Amiibo readers are so rare to find in stores now, I would just buy them online. Yeah. Well, I only have a couple of Amiibos. I have them up here. I have uh, Pac-Man, I have Kirby, which I got Kirby for like $2. And then I got a Sonic. Um, I actually have a friend that, um, he did something with his phone and turned his phone into, his phone has an NSF reader in it, so he bought a bunch of blank NSF chips and programmed them with his cell phone and made, like, little trading cards out of each character, so literally turned these trading cards into amiibos, so he has every amiibo that there is as a card. So whenever he wants to play it, he just puts the card down and uh, is able to play as that amiibo. So it was kind of a kind of a hacky way to do it, but um, I think it was kind of cool. It looked cool. He 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 made them really well. Like they were all laminated and stuff like that. Um, he just sent me a couple pictures of them, but they were it was it was a uh, it was pretty neat. I didn't know that you could do that at all. What, what, what just happened? Did the ship go away? It's a magic wand back from little Koopa. So the ship went away. So now I have to go chase the ship down? Killed by a flying wrench. I'm gonna be a little upset. Can I jump over? Nope. Get it, get it, get it! Yes, thank you. Keep it, keep it, keep it! No! Is this one of those where I have to jump on it? Yeah. So that was the training. That was the training right there. The training run of how those things work. Can I go up and over? Yep. At the end? Good. And I don't remember. Is this the one that has the hidden block at the end? has a hidden block at the end. I don't know which one it is. Is this thing... This guy looks like they're wearing a bra on top of their head or something. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, we're gonna use a power-up because I have a bajillion of them. Why not? I like how he hides inside of his hat. Oh my god. What is the point of using power-ups if you lose them instantly because you're dumb? You're dumb!
Give me this. Give it to me. You jerk. Oh, come on. Uh, no, this is on the original Nintendo. This is the original NES version that I'm playing here. I'm using a Super Nintendo controller plugged into my PC. Or, plugged into my Mac. So... Yeah, I have a USB Super Nintendo controller. That is terrible. Don't ever buy the Tommy Super Nintendo controller because it is, like, the worst. It, it kills your thumbs. Ooh, that was close. Okay, see if I can get the jump on it, right? Get it in the air. Yeah, there it is. Finally got it. Um, it's a Super Nintendo controller that's USB. Uh, made by Tommy Electronics. These buttons make your fingers so tired so fast because they, they take a lot of effort to push, and this D-pad sucks. So there's more, this is like the cheapest one you can buy, I think it's like 15 bucks. Um, when I got it, it was like 10 or 15 bucks, it's super cheap. The R and L buttons are really good, but all this just like wears your fingers out so fast. Um, there are better ones for like 30, 40 dollars. Uh, especially the, um, Bluetooth ones. So, but the Bluetooth ones are like... You know, like 50 bucks or something. Um, but they are really, really good. Um, my buddy had one one time, and he let me use it for a minute, and it's super good. Oh, I'm in Giant Land. Giant Land is so much fun. Am I spoiling all the surprises for you? I hope not. Yeah, sometimes we get a little bit of lag because my computer gets a little little behind because my computer is like seven years old but I'm still able to run this stuff um, I mean it is an old Mac but I swear this thing has still got a, a ton of power to it so especially since I upgraded the hard drive I put a uh, SSD drive in it and it basically brought this old machine back to life, where it was usable again. Um, pretty freaking awesome. One of the best investments I did was to put an SSD drive in this. Get, get in the pipe and don't be stupid. Get in the pipe and don't be stupid. Yeah! Five up. So it is five up. Back to 11 lives. That seems to be the magic number tonight. Another cheap, cheap level? Dang it. Why do they hate me so much? They've done this so many times. Oh, come on. I'm looking at the fireballs and the stupid... Cheap Cheap with his cheap moves. This is definitely a fireball type of level. Oh god, and then I lose the fireballs instantly.
Yes, I will take that all day. P-Wings! I need P-Wings bad! Oh, get in the pipe! Get in the pipe! Oh, come on, I need the power-ups. Jumps are like blind jumps of faith. Woo! Get in the pipe. Jump in there. So if I remember right, that was a secret there, but let's see, where's this turtle? There we go. be able to play late enough to um, to get through the entire game tonight. I was actually thinking about uh, finding a stopping point pretty soon and then coming back to it um, next time because uh, I know I'm not going to be able to get through the whole game in, in one sitting, especially with no warps. Um, I want to try to get to the castle right there and then call it a night, because it's it's approaching uh, like 10.30 now. Hey, a P-Wing. Good, I needed that. It's approaching 10.30, so I'm not going to make it all the way to the end, um, but the goal is on this stream to finish the entire game. Um, my schedule, my streaming schedule is, um, oh my gosh. I have my friend Sterling that plays on uh, Fridays. He does varying times, usually around 8 o'clock. <clears throat> um, I will do, or on Sundays, I do reruns of everything that we did during the week, um, starting at uh, 8 o'clock on Sunday. And then on uh, Monday, my friend Doug will play random random games. Um, he does, you know, mainly old school stuff again. 
what he will do Monday. On Tuesday, I play Magic the Gathering uh, at 9 o'clock. On Wednesday and Thursday, I do 9 o'clocks as well, and I play retro games. So this will probably be my upcoming Wednesday and Thursday of, uh, of next week to try to get through the whole game for everybody. So at least now I, I have a, 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 a schedule of what I'm going to do next week, because usually I just pick random games. Are you stream too? What, what do you normally stream? Oh, it's 7.30 at your place, okay. So you live... Where, California? Am I doing the time zones right? Oh, dumb. So I have walking candles to deal with now. Okay. Walking candles. went down. Stupid dry bones, get out of here. Okay. okay. I was like, how am I supposed to get out of here? So hopefully I bypass some of the hard parts. Usually I stream for about an hour, hour and a half, because um, I do have a family and a wife and kids to deal with too, so um, but every night I do 9 p.m. Eastern Time, so whatever time zone you're in, um, yeah. I can't do this. I can't do this. When I finally get this right, I'm gonna be so happy. So let me see if I can... Yes, I can. I'm going to save state. SMB3 World 4. So I'm going to save that game so we can pick this up another time. Um, so yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm glad you tuned in. I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> kids always come over and start mashing buttons. I used to give my son the wrong controller. I'd give him a controller that was not plugged into anything when he was like two and he thought he was playing. So that, uh, that was always a good time. At least he felt like he was included. Um, now he, um, when he was three, he got through the first level of Super Mario Brothers by himself. So, he's, uh, he's growing up gaming. <laughs> you kids are too smart for that, huh? So, um, but I am going to sign off for today because it's approaching 1030 here and I've been up since 8 o'clock in the morning, so, uh, I will continue playing this um, on Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, so please follow the cha follow this channel so you get the alerts when I'm playing it again. Um, please tell your friends because I am a small channel. I just started out like a month ago, so I'm trying to get that following going. So only way people know about me is if you guys tell them so please help me um, get a following out there um, I appreciate you guys tuning in tonight um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find 
uh, we're gonna raid somebody. So I'm gonna find another channel for us to raid and uh, see what other people are playing tonight. Um, still kind of new to the whole raid thing, so bear with me. <clears throat> but uh, let's see what else is going on on Twitch tonight. And we'll go to the retro channel. See if anybody's playing anything good tonight. Of course, I don't really know many Twitch streamers yet. So, oh, somebody's playing F Zero. So we, uh, uh, I don't know about F Zero. Let's see. Mm, what sounds good? F Zero. Or some uh, punch out. What are you guys going to watch next? Let's see. Well, <clears throat> I can uh, type this guy's name in a little better. So just because his name is less complicated. We're going to go watch some Mike Tyson's punch out that this guy is playing. Um, I don't know ever if they are kid friendly, so I will just warn you guys ahead of time. Oh, it says right now it's for mature audiences, so I will cancel out of that. And we'll go watch this dude play F Zero, okay? Try to keep my channel. Um, family friendly so anyone can watch it 7 8 8 he's mature audiences too well apparently everybody likes to say terrible things how about some ducktales how bad can ducktales be Well, okay, forget forget rating somebody because um, all the channels I'm trying to go to are for mature audiences, so forget it. Okay, we'll try one more. One more. Just to see what happens here. He's playing Ninja Turtles. Alright, so we're going to raid somebody playing uh, Ninja Turtles, looks like on the Super Nintendo. Uh, it should be a fun time. So again, thanks for tuning in. I will see all you guys again Tuesday at 9 o'clock. And uh, thanks for the new follows. I appreciate that. Everybody have a good night, and uh, I will see you next time. Bye.